Welcome to Sonata Secrets and this series about Frosa Flowers by Wilhelm Perusenberger, a collection of 21 short and sweet piano pieces grouped into three books that have come to be a symbol of Swedish summer transcribed into music. Wilhelm Pettersonberger, or Pettersson Berger in Swedish, lived 1867 to 1942, and at the time he was perhaps most known as a music critic, reviewing music and concerts, and he could be quite brutal to things he didn't like, for example his contemporary Wilhelm Stenhammer. And as a composer he was most successful in smaller formats, like the Frost of Flower piano pieces and solo and choir songs. This is where he managed to, I think, come closest to his philosophical ideal of integrating folk music and art music. Because you can really feel the roots of folk music in some rhythms and very melodic material in the music. So in a way it's similar to what the mazurka and the polonaise was to Chopin, but totally different kinds of roots. Petersenberger spent the later part of his life in a house that he built on Frasa Island, which is an island on a big lake in the hinterlands in Jämtland County in the north of Sweden. And they called the house Sommarhagen, the summer pasture. Now this is important because there is a theme running through all the sets of these pastoral nature scenes. There are very painting titles like Far Away in the Forest and At Twilight and Waves Against the Shore. And the music is very effective in evoking these pastoral feelings, very much like in Beethoven's Sixth Symphony. And I hope that I can give you a glimpse of the beautiful summers we have here in Sweden in this series. Normally, for most of the year, it's very dark and cold. So when the summer finally comes and the sun sets very late, we tend to savor it as much as we can. Now, when I was working on this project, I tried to understand what it is about the music that makes it this way. And I've identified some features that are reoccurring throughout all pieces in the sets, but like in different pieces at the time. So there are some particular rhythms, kind of jumpy and exciting rhythms from the folk music feeling. And harmonically, there are a few chords that are returning frequently. And it's typical romantic alterations of basic chords, like the plus five chord. So if you have a C major, you have the plus five. Makes it intriguing. And we have the half diminished chord. So if I have a minor seventh chord and I do minus five on the minor seventh. So I alter the fifth to the this. I get this very mysterious chord, the half diminished or minor seventh, minus five chord. There's a lot of these in the pieces. And this is also an inversion of a more simple minor six chord. If we start on E flat here, minor and six. This is a minor, minor six chord, and most of all, it's the ninth chord. So if I add the seventh and the ninth, so it expands the buzzing energy of any chord. Now, throughout this series, I'm going to flag all of these features when they occur, but I'm not going to do deep analysis on each movement. Rather, I'm just going to say a few words about it and then play through the piece uh, with the score up so you can follow it. Book one, number one, Rentrée. This is a triumphant, exuberant piece in C major. And it's actually the same way that all three sets start with a piece like this in C major. So this is the entrance to the set, but it's an entrance that we have done before, a rentrée. So it's both fresh and familiar at the same time. And the texture is we have big, thick chords in octaves in the right hand, like a fanfare melody playing and the left hand has lovely arpeggios going up. Really good piece to exercise arpeggios, this one. Then in the middle section we get some more hesitant chords breaking off, but they eventually grow back into the first material that ends the piece in a triumphant manner. And the Patreon shoutout in this episode goes to G and G Nyberg. <laughs>
Thanks for watching Sonata Secrets. For the full series on Frosa flowers, check out the playlist on the right and consider subscribing for more analysis videos like this unlocking the world of classical music.